morning dear students hope you are safe and sound dear the students today i am going to restart the chapter rise of nationalism in europe from last two days we are doing this chapter and today i am going to describe very very important questions regarding napoleon bonaparte so question is explain any four reasons how the initial enthusiasm of the people of france soon turned to hostility hostility means enmity after napoleon's take over of france so dear students you know that <clears throat> during a french revolution napoleon bonaparte emerged as a french revolutionary but after french revolution he became emperor of france and he was initially he was loved by the people of france and by the people of switzerland poland by the people of germany and by the people of italy because you know that you know he carried idea of nationalism from france to different european countries so initially in the beginning he was you know considered as the harbinger and supporter of nationalism but when you know he took advantage of that situation and became emperor of france so people of france started to hate him so this question is regarding this aspect of his life okay question is actually about why napoleon bonaparte was disliked by the people of france although in the beginning he was loved and respected by french people okay so these are five points 1 2 3 4 and 5 points and every point i am going to describe and one by one so first point is mixed the reaction of local people i know in the beginning loved and he was disliked at the same time by local population of france neither 100% and a french people loved him neither 100% french people hated him i know so it was mixed reaction i know some there was mixed reaction of local people regarding hate and regarding respect of napoleon bonaparte second point is rise of hostility in western europe okay so you know <clears throat> a french army brought idea of nationalism to different countries uh, of europe to uh, switzerland to uh, holland means netherland to belgium okay to italy so in the beginning i know people of those countries started to love it started to love and respect napoleon bonaparte but when napoleon bonaparte became emperor of france i know so he was not liked and he was hated by the people of these countries because these people of these countries started to love napoleon bonaparte because napoleon bonaparte i know is napoleon bonaparte brought idea of nationalism but what happened he became emperor i know so being emperor was i know seen was seen against the idea of nationalism because nationalism does not support monarchy i know so french people fought against monarchy french people i know removed moved king louis 16 from his power and they also executed him i know but after some time i know french people saw that again monarchy was reestablished by napoleon bonaparte because napoleon bonaparte became emperor of france therefore they started to hate him next one is lack of political freedom okay so western europe mean in countries like belgium netherland italy germany people started to hate him next is lack of political freedom hai na so question arises that why people of western countries started to hate him so they started to hate him because hai na they felt that after advent of napoleon bonaparte they lost hai na many political rights could not say whatever they wanted they could not speak whatever they wanted so freedom of expression hai na was actually taken over i know by bonaparte therefore i know they felt that they were cheated by the napoleon bonaparte because you know that no king and no emperor i know uh, wants a uh, freedom of expression it means that if you are having freedom of expression you can say you can write you can speak whatever you want against i know a monarch 
and it is not allowed i know so freedom of expression is actually basically idea and principle of uh, democracy it is not i know uh, principle and it is not light in the monarchy okay next is increased taxation napoleon bonaparte also increased amount of tax because he was very ambitious ruler and he wanted to become emperor of the world therefore he wanted lots of money so that he could spend in the war and he could achieve his goal next one is forced conscription conscription means recruitment of people in army so you know that he was very ambitious ruler so he also wanted a big army and you know? therefore he started to recruit you know people of france in his army forcefully and you know? people did not want to enter in army job but you know he started to induct or he started to recruit people of france you know in his army forcefully so it was also one of the reason you know uh, <clears throat> behind the hostility and behind the disillusion and disenchantment of french people with napoleon bonaparte so these are five very important questions a very important points and this question is very very important dear the students so i have described so watch my video again and again and i hope that you will understood every bit thank you bye